Hi friends, this is a sample video where I am going to design HR Analytics dashboard in Power BI software. For that, I have downloaded the HR data from Kaggle dataset and I have created a dashboard which is completely dynamic and interactive that I have developed using Power BI software. First, I will open a new file or a blank file for Power BI. So whenever we will be opening this file, you get this UI. Next, we have to connect to our data. So let's see the data. If we see this particular data where we have so many numbers of columns and we have so many number of rows. Approximately we have around uh, 1500 rows in this particular file. Among these many rows and columns, I have hardly used 40 to 50 percent of columns in our design. And the main thumb rule in data analytics is we should always study the data first that how the data is going from top to bottom, what level the granularity of the data is, how interlinking of one column to another column is there. Then only it will be easy for us to design to bring up the visualization. So let's starts the procedure. So I open Power BI. Now this is a Power BI desktop. Now I need to get the data from the Excel sheet. So I click on transform data. When I click on transform data, the Power Query editor window gets opened. In this Power Query editor window, we can apply lot of transformations and even we can get the data from different sources like there is an option of new source. When I click on new source, we have an option of more button. When I click on this more button, where we can get the data from different sources like we have 150 plus different sources are there where we can get the data from this particular sources. So in my example, well, I have taken Excel workbook to get the data of the HR data. So I click on connect button. I take the HR data and click on open. So it will take time to load depending upon the system RAM and configuration. So once it is loaded, we can see the different uh, sheets available in that particular file. So I click on HR data. So when I click on HR data, it is going to give a snapshot of that particular data here, like how the data will be looking, what columns are there, all that information we can see it over here. So and then we can click on OK button. Again, it will take some time to load the data depending upon your uh, size of the data as well as your configuration. So once it is loaded, the data has been loaded in this particular uh, Power Query Editor window. Now we can apply a lot of transformations here and I click on close and apply. So when I click on close and apply, the complete data from the Power Query Editor window gets loaded into the Power Pivot model like the, the data is going to get loaded into the RAM. So the data has been loaded into the power pivot model. This we call it as a power pivot model. And in this power pivot model, generally we have two things. One is the data modeling and the second one is uh, this is a table view or a data view. In this data modeling where we can see the relationship between the tables. Right now we have only one file. That is the reason there is no relationship showing over here. But when we have multiple uh, sheets available, then it can show the rela relationship automatically by the power BI between the tables. Now now here uh, this is a data page where we can see the data of that particular file. So where we can see the data and if you see the count here, the complete count of the data, it is showing it as 1471 rows. Now the one thing we have observed is whatever the headers available in the Excel sheet is completely different and whatever the headers available here is something else. Like here the headers, whatever is given as column 1, column 2, column 3, etc. What the Power BI has considered our headers as rows and the Power BI is considering our the headers as the raw data. It is not considering the headers correctly. So we have to change this because we cannot design our dashboard with this data errors. So what we have to do is we have to go back to the report page again. We have to click on uh, transform data. So whenever we click, whenever we are clicking on the transform data, the complete data gets into the Power Query editor window. Now we can apply the transformation. The transformation what I want to apply is I need to consider this first row as the header instead of column 1, column 2, column 3. I can do the transformation in this particular window. Apart from that, we can do so many other transformations like we can add, on, add the columns based on some conditions, based on some formulas. We can do many more things we can explore in this particular uh, Power Query editor window. So right now I want to treat this row as the header for that generally what I do is I click on this option called use first row as the header. When I click on this use first row as the header automatically it is taking the first row as the header 
now it is perfectly fine to make our dashboard so whatever the steps we are applying here all that steps we can see it in the applied steps part in this particular query setting window and uh, whenever you want to delete even you can delete it and whenever you want to change it even you can change it like generally we take a large amount of data and we perform the transformations so all the transformations whatever you have applied on that particular large amount of data that we can see it in the applied steps so after that we just go to the home tab and then we click an option called close and apply when i click on close and apply whatever the changes we have applied in the power query editor window those will be applied in the power pivot model that is that means the complete data is getting stored into the ram let's start the design now in order to design we go to the third one which i called as a power view this is a power view where we can uh, create our visualizations like this is a canvas the dotted lines is called as a canvas here all your dashboards will be designed and visualized in this particular canvas only and here we can see the visualizations the default visualizations which is given by the power bi power bi even if you want to get some more visualizations you can click on this and you can go to get more visuals uh, where you can get the certified visuals of microsoft and you can also get some other visuals which are not certified by the microsoft also and then you can uh, take that visualizations and you can create a beautiful report and apart from that if you see in this data section uh, you have an option of hr data where in this hr data you have some tape, uh, some columns wherever you have this particular symbol this particular column we treat it as a measure like generally the measure columns will be having a numerical data and where uh, this aggregation default uh, default aggregations has been applied for that numerical data by the power bi only and here we have a dimensional data like where we cannot perform aggregations on that particular dimensional uh, columns so power bi is smart enough to identify what are measures and what are dimensions etc based on that we, i have prepared a beautiful visualization by taking this uh, card uh, by taking these visualizations and by taking this columns i have prepared a beautiful hr analytical dashboard where i'll be showing it in this uh, hr analytics dashboard i have used five kpis i have used a pie chart and i have used the frequency chart which is converted after that into the stacked bar chart and i have taken a matrix chart called as heap map also and i have taken a bar chart i have and i have taken multiple donut charts and i have added one slicer also we can call it as a filter in the form of buttons so when i click on any of this particular education we can see the dashboard is changing with respect to that whenever i am clicking on this bachelor's degree even we can see the dashboard which is changing with respect to that like when i click on the doctoral degree even it is going to change the dashboard based on that so whenever i am clicking on any of this particular uh, slides like like uh, let us say whenever i am clicking on this particular sides of the pie chart uh, the values are at, uh, interactive and it is going to give filter out you can see the values are interactive which is going to give and filter out thank you